James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 15th, 2023, 2 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had three M flares pop off already today. The first being an M2.9, almost an M3 flare out of AR3363. Now we're going to be able to see that explosion, but a lot of the equipment for NOAA and NASA is currently down, believe it or not. After that, we saw AR3372 that is now in play and much more Earth facing pop off with an M1 followed by an M2.1 solar flare. Now the M2.9 was at 721 to 756 UTC time. The M1 was at 943 to 957 UTC time. And the M2.1 was at 10.05 to 1014 UTC time. That's where we're at right now. One, two, three. As you see here, heading over to our D region prediction center, we see that X rays popped off and hit the Middle East, Africa, and parts of Europe here. This is going to be the second flare the m1 flare this is followed by as we can see right here the m2.1 flare that again peaked around 10 10 and we can see that the rest of the day is our c baseline now we missed a large explosion but we will be able to see the cme that was created the first cme of the day out of Solar Spot AR3363. I do have that enormous CME right on time. And based on the intensity of that 2.9 M class solar flare, there should be an Earth directed component to it. Now, both the M1 flare at 943 and the M2.1 flare at 1005 created from Sunspot AR3372 which has also gained beta gamma complexity. Now we start the day off with what looks like a pretty good flare at the three o'clock position of our star. And we're headed to around 740 UTC time. So we should be getting there rather quickly. And there it is. What an M flare. Look at that plasma chronal mass ejection eruption right off the screen we're here on actually lasco c2 the only place we could find that explosion because ar3363 was mostly earth facing that should have an earth component to it let's watch that one more time here ladies and gentlemen it was a big one i will speed it up so there's no time to wait. So as we go into that 721 uh, to 756 time slot, there you see it. Absolutely enormous. Look like this other sunspot erupted with it, as a matter of fact. And that is being called again, only an M2.9, the predecessor of the other M1 and M2.1. Based on the location of AR3363, we can guess that that would most definitely have an Earth component to that huge chronal mass ejection that was erupted after the solar flare. So in conclusion, we had this very large 2.71 according to NOAA instead of 2.9 according to NASA here. And we might be able to find a 2.9 in there. Let's see what we can do. There's a 2.86. So we'll say 2.9 NASA, 2.86 NOAA. That occurred right after 9 UTC time, followed by a small M1 flare, followed by a, another M2.1 flare. Both these flares were out of Sunspot AR3372. 
and there's a very good chance that they would affect Earth as well because obviously that sunspot is now beta gamma and generally facing Earth's direction. With that said, please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.